Here's one mistake you make with every defensive operator in Rainbow Six Siege. If you guys have anything to add on when it comes to different operators, please go down in the comments and, you know, list whatever. Besides that, let's get right into it. With Mew, a lot of you guys will start your round trying to set up site, making rotates, and that's good because you're trying to be a good teammate. But you're making a huge mistake because you need to be utilizing your Mew Jammers at the start of each round. So what you should be doing is placing down all your Mew jam Jammers in prominent areas where it can cut off drones and you should be killing drone economy that should be your main objective you can make rotates afterwards you know your teammates might be on your butt being like yo bro make rotates but drone economy now with smoke i would say there's probably two big issues and mistakes that players are making one which is this is the most common organ strat for a smoke player is placing your shields way too far up it doesn't matter if there's even a little bit of a gap here for ads's the main point is because any flores drones can come in you can literally get a floors drone like literally right here and probably destroy the shield that's why with shields you're going to want to place them as far back as possible that's why personally me i like to keep my shield at an angle like this instead of frontwards because i find it's way more easier to see through the slits also the second mistake i would say is pocketing your smoke canisters for the last few seconds of the round now if you're able to do this and the enemies aren't taking much you know map control that's completely good and that's great because then you probably won the round but for example when you have ads's here on elbow um and they start to burn it and they're just trying to clear your shield that is when you're going to want to start to burn some of this smoke because then they can't just run through it or they'll basically die and your ads's can reload and you know they're not going to be able to burn it because all that utility you have wasted so don't be afraid to throw some smoke canisters and it's honestly better than you just overall dying and giving them so much map control Huge mistake I see players making with castle is following pro league castle strats and not understanding the whole purpose. For example, you will see people make SSG roam strat, you know, um, <laughs> like in, in ranked, and they have no idea why they're doing this in the first place. So don't go castle unless you understand the objective of you know his barricades and what you plan on doing with map control because it can really screw over your teammates and it's just very silly to just randomly start throwing down castle barricades especially if your teammates which are solo queuing plan on doing something completely different but don't start roaming off the bat because a lot of people for example on villa they will go below down in memo or basement and they will just sit there using their utility hoping to get a c a c4 kill or with solace early on you're gonna hope and just bait your teammates into dying hoping that you can catch somebody trying to plant and maybe get a kill instead what you should do at the start of the round and maybe midway is show your presence around site shoot drones maybe uh, roam a little bit on the same floor and then going into the last minute of the round when the enemies are trying to execute go down below and then use your utility because that's going to be the best possible way to be successful a lot of people do the same stuff over and over again with pulse and solace and it's very bad because they're just going to adapt to what you're doing for example if you're pulse downstairs in dining slash laundry every round people are going to be like okay we need to go roam clear this if we're going to push this so we can deal with him or they're going to do the exact opposite and just go from the other side of the map over and just completely avoid you one of the most annoying things about rook players is not placing your rook, rook armor down at the start of each round. They literally wait, they'll reinforce everything, and then anybody that's trying to roam or get off site, they have to literally sit there and wait. So do me a favor and just place down your rook armor at the start of the round. It takes literally three seconds. Just, just do it, please. The number one mistake I would say with players that use Doc is playing way too passive with Doc. Especially now he's able to heal from basically zero HP all the way to an overheal. It's it's insane. Personally, you need to be playing aggressive with Doc, in my personal opinion, especially with his 1.5 times scope. And he just has everything going for him. He has rotate capability, so now you can extend. So don't just sit in a corner and be passive. Play a little bit more aggressive with Doc. The mistake I see players using the cap can is they continuously round by round put their traps in the same setup. Now a lot of people comment on my videos when it comes to cap can and they'll be like bro you're putting your trips way too high. I do that for a reason because I do it very randomly. Players are going to suspect it going to be floor level in some areas so I like to just be random. So literally change up your setup in siege and it's a crime in my personal opinion a lot of people just don't know how to use this gadget and it's just like smoke but it can be better in a lot of ways now my favorite th part about chachanka is 
literally the lineups that you can do i know this seems very i don't i don't know how to say it very underwhelming for a tip but a lot of you guys don't really understand like look how impactful this can be like you can do so much and like just waste this much time this is literally default plan so just my my mistake i would say is just not using him and then not using his kit to full potential a lot of we're, we're in this run and gun meta where people just want to go you know get kills using 1.5 time scope but i don't know i like the gadget aspect like you can literally just have lineups with chachanka personally i think chachanka's um little fire shooting thing should definitely have like a a buff and like we should have more radius with the lineups like i'm not saying you should be all the way back here hookah and be able to bounce it off the window and then you know get it over but you know that would be kind of that would be kind of op like you know you can kind of you can kind of do it it's just not the most accurate but yeah so yeah you guys use chachanka like we we wanted him to be buffed for so long and like it's he's just not he's not used enough and it's so like he's so good biggest mistake i say see with jaeger players is just them placing their ads's in the stupidest places ever like for example let's talk about this ads placement on hookah door let's just, let's just go outside oh i'm a, i'm an attacker i can literally just shoot it right here right there guys and what is what is that helping that's not complimenting any other piece of utility literally somebody can repel in the window and shoot it so there there are going to be places where you're just going to have to place it where it is shootable and that's just how you know stuff is but a way better ads placement would literally be to complement the shield that's usually on vase which is right here you can place it right here and there's no way it can get shot like literally no way unless they go into vip and shoot it which if you want to counteract that you can just literally place it right here and does it have the radius it should yep so guys think about your utility before placing it this ads by the way this might be a little bit bad if the person is caulking the grenade and and knows how to you know throw it on time if that makes sense so you can also you know place it there whatever whatever um you could place it like right here just your ads placement you guys are just go on autopilot mode and you just start throwing your ads's literally anywhere and it's very very annoying when i get grenaded one thing i would say about bandit players if you're not going to bandit trick the mistake is literally picking him he is not Cade. you can't just throw down his gadget and then go run away and use his gun and just be a roamer stop doing that unless the, the enemies for some reason aren't bringing anything or trying to get your stuff off the wall just just please stop picking him like just throw it on cades like it just makes more sense <clears throat> okay let's speed run some so i want to talk about frost velk lesion and thorn now the reason why i'm putting all these people in one bunch is because you guys consistently place your utility in the same spots every single round literally stop doing that like stop throwing the same velcams like that they're finding every single round frost is a little bit different because with frost i feel like you can place your gadget on a window where you can play off of so if they're gonna jump in you can kind of swing off of that but besides that you have to get random with a lot of these types of utility because it's very important to just you know keep the enemy on their toes the mistake i would say that p players make with cav is showing presence off site way too premature it's kind of like what i said with solace and pulse i feel like if you show presence that you're roaming rotate back to site as cav and then try to sneak away from site as the round like deteriorates say you're at the 30 second mark you can probably get the fast flank with cav off site like go roam you don't need to be the same default cav that just you know roams the entire round and tries to waste time and then usually doesn't do anything effective the mistake i would say that players make with echo is not using one of his cams to play off another teammate for example i i get it you guys solo queue a lot but if you're going to use echo be sure to have a drone in a vicinity where you can give active clear comms or you can even use the gadget for stunning someone and then telling your teammate to swing mistake i would say players make with mirror is literally picking her if they have no idea what a mirror setup should look like like that's it the thing i would say the mistake players make with ella is not keeping a grisma mine in pocket while you're roaming with ella or you're playing a more aggressive angle it's best to have a grisma mine in your pocket just so you can unleash it and throw it onto like a door frame or somewhere where you might get swung because a lot of times when you're roaming you're literally going to get pinched and with ella scorpion you're going to want to have the best aim or you're going to want to be in close quarters to use her 
scorpion or shotgun the one mistake i would say players make with vigil is the same thing probably with cav is just showing too much presence off site and then not rotating back to site yeah, a lot of you guys don't understand that you don't need to get picks uh, as a roamer you just need to waste time so the best thing you can be doing with vigil if you start to get uh, pinched if you're able to rotate back to site guys because you you can just cloak out and they're gonna still think you're roaming and that's crazy effective just to crunch time the mistake i would say maestro players make is exposing their maestro cams in areas that's not that's not around ADSs because it's very easy to get rid of maestro cams. So you guys, once again, should probably look up some maestro cam spots and really pick and choose where you uh, put your maestro cams. I'm, I'm trying to think of, of, a, of a mistake people make with Alibi. I don't want to say it's going Alibi because Alibi is in the meta just because how... You know what? The mistake a lot of you guys make with Alibi is going Alibi when you can't shoot your goddamn gun. The big mistake Clash players make is going Clash and then trying to take map control alone a lot of you guys will end up on an island and one thing that i can say is i've seen clash players put themselves in positions on bottom main of clubhouse and they'll just be sitting there on a god dang island like play off your teammates be in vicinity where if you get knifed your teammate can be there to swing and kill the guy don't just try to zap people and give comms alone across the map you're slow as hell on clash one mistake I would say with Cade players is placing their Electra Claws in the same exact spot every single round where it gets destroyed. I'm going to have a lot of people say I'm gold for this, but I like to do some funky Cade Claws. Shotgun? Uh, some mining needs to for. I have impacts. Okay, good. We have impacts on Capcan? Well, that's a mm -hmm. dub right now, but jeez, what the fuck? I saw him by Bro Shotgun. Oh, okay. I thought you just had it on. Oh. CG, thank you for 2 1 as well, baby. Let's see if this works. For Every tier one I get, I'll uh, post a video of Odie's ass on Twitter. <laughs> I dare you, please. Uh, I don't know. You were sleeping and I took a pick. Yeah, can somebody move this stack of barb into trophy? I understand the point of it, but I feel like if someone tries to play bolo. Yeah, yeah. It's just we won't be able to play a little bit like aggressive because the sound cue. Just because of the way that, yeah, that's fine. It's just the way that these guys are playing. We need to play a little bit more aggressive. Make sure we start breaking glass. I don't think they're turning that small. Thank you, Peek Me, for the tier one sub. Woo! I hate that attic take. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Where's this flash? I'm dead here. I need help. I need somebody to play my Ah! They need a bolo? I killed Gene. One bottom white sound. Nope. They're trying to find the Cade Claw, but it's in the closet, guys. Is there a guy on the... on this belt? Let's just see. Uh, in trophy? He smoked it out. There might be. Yeah. He's on the roof, man. Like, fucking weirdo. Didn't leave him, Armikin? Let me check. Nah. I can't get shit off the wall, man. not... Uh, trying to wall bang bolo looking through the roof of game on, on the roof looking through game's window Telling upside down on, on games master belt. Trying to boy? Yeah on master belt Propelled in master belt Bottom white Satellite? Side. Jumped in satellite? Fuck Still bottom white Yep don't come up there's a, there's a thing on it, there's a trap on it Yeah that's unfortunate. Right trophy. No, going back to fight. We're playing games. Dude, they actually can't find the Cade Claw. They're so stupid. They have an IQ. Oh, big. Oh, it's so tragic. I'm so ass, dude. One white. One white, one big. One white, one big. Okay, come watch white, Cronus. Yeah. Yeah, hold their white. Oh, that was Top white. Top white, Ted. Keep watching uh, big and keep watching white, yeah, Cronus. He dropped off, I think. The white, close. One's going under, that's bomb. That bomb, top white. You want to come up main, probably. Main or white. Yeah, man. Nice trophy. He's walking in. I'm leaving you on an island. The mistake a lot of players make with Mozzie is throwing down all of his pests 
in the prep phase what you should be doing with mozzie is shooting as many drones as possible in the prep phase and then once you get into you know the round you throw down your pests because drone economy is the most important thing especially with an operator like mozzie who denies drones so shoot some goddamn drones in the prep don't throw it on your pests don't try to capture a drone it, ju it just doesn't make sense one mistake I would say Warden players make, and I've done this because when I've played Warden, because I don't play him very much, is forgetting what his gadget does. And that's literally <laughs> countering stuns and, you know, smokes. Mistake I would say GoYo players make is putting their utility in places where your teammates can't shoot it and places where you're actually going to block off rotation for your teammates if it's shot. So you're basically giving the attackers a gadget to, you know, kill you one mistake and this is a huge mistake that players make with Umaya, is throwing his discs beside utility like for example wubs maestro cams etc because what's going to happen is once it's caught like a grenade it's going to destroy all the things around it especially when you throw your discs beside each other it's just an l one mistake you're making it while playing goyo is not playing aggressive this is one of those operators where you need to be playing as aggressive and ludicrous as possible because he, he has the best gun in the game with a 1.5 he's literally has so much mobility and rotation capability so if you're playing passive with this operator you need to play literally anybody else one mistake I would say players make with Malusi is the way they place her gadget. For example, if you place the gadget on the floor like this in front of the hookah, it's very easy for the people to get wubbed outside of the door and then it opens up and they can shoot it. Versus if you place it on the wall here, you can literally just place it and they would have to walk in, turn at an angle, wait for it to open, and then you shoot it. One mistake I would say of Rooney players make is misplacing the gates. For example, players will place a Rooney gate backwards on hatches and then you can't reset it once it's burnt. I've seen it happen so many times on Clubhouse. One mistake I would say players make with Thunderbird is not keeping a Thunderbird station in pocket for herself. With Thunderbird, you can literally go roam. You can do whatever you want. You can extend out on the map. But having a Thunderbird station when things go wrong and you get a kill and you're 1 HP, it's very helpful. Or when you're roaming with somebody, you can give them health. Which is very cool because you can just pick it back up and then rotate. One mistake I would say players make with a zombie is just not understanding how to throw her knives. And... That's, that's literally it. A lot of you guys will just randomly throw it and it will stick onto the floor and it's a waste of a carrier barrier. Car Kiba barrier. I said carrier barrier. Also, what I would say also is just not blocking off the proper lines of sights. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, sub, and comment. And thank you so much to making it this far into the video. Um, besides that, guys, you guys have a wonderful day.